Hi friends, this is Amit Kumar and welcome to another session of Pinstech Solution. So today's topic is how to create custom dimension and measures in ClickSense. And then we will also create a drill down chart by using those custom dimension and measures. So basically it's it's about creating multi-dimensional analysis by using ClickSense. So let's begin. I'm going to create a new sheet for this. Say my sheet name is Comparative Analysis. All right. Now go to this. So I have certain databases with uh, ClickSense. Okay. So I have a list of databases here. Basically, uh, this is a customer master, product master, and transaction. <coughs> Excuse me. So these three tables are belongs to a single data set, and then these three other tables like customer order and order detail is belongs to another data set. Now. I will use these three tables and will create uh, visualizations. So uh, first of all, I have this uh, transaction table. So as we are here to create custom dimension and measures. So you can see in the transaction table, I have fields like date, which is the transaction date, which keeps only date, date values. You can see this. So it's keeping only the date values. So I'm here to create custom dimension to extract different time dimensions from the date field. Okay, such as uh, your year, quarter, a month, weeks, weekdays, days. So all those separate separate datas, separate attributes, or separate dimension I will create by deriving this date field. Okay. And now I can also create uh, some of the calculated measures like say I want to calculate so this is COGS the selling price and I want to calculate the discount on top of the COGS and then I will derive another field which would be the discounted field okay so this kind of measures I can also create okay so now let's first create the cal you know uh, dimension here <coughs> so here I have master items here we have dimensions and measures okay now here I want to go here and then I would create some dimensions like so I have few other dimensions where they are whatever what I'm doing is I'm just deleting all those things then I'll start from the scratch okay <clears throat> so go to new so here uh, friends you can see here there are two type of dimension you can see a single dimension and multi dimension so when you are creating a single dimension y your custom dimension is derived from the the original field database field which is there in the data set now we are here to create a first a single dimension which would be <coughs> a kind of calculated or custom dimension from the which will be based on the database field. So as I said, I will create first year from the particular date field. And then I will talk about the drill down. I am not talking about this right now. Uh, I have the date field. First of all, I will choose the transaction table. And then I will get the specific fields uh, from this, which is the date. Now I just add it here. And then you can you can just use the methods or formulas here in the expressions so I will just use year function so there are many functions here you can uh, derive some other attributes from this date field okay so I'm going to derive year from the particular date all right so I'll just change the name of this attribute as year 
सो आर डायमेंशन फील्ड ओके सो लाइक वेज यू कैन ऑल्सो एट मल्टीपल डायमेंशन लाइक द सेम फील्ड आई विल यूज विच इज डेट एंड देन गो टू दिस एफेक्स एफेक्स इज अ फॉर्मूला एडिटर now next is quarter right i have the function is quarter name i'll just use it and then apply add dimension then we have month sorry uh, i have to choose this one go to fx and use month function to extract month out of this date so you will be getting jan feb march april so like that all those date names i mean month names add dimensions again what x what next uh, i can do i can basically extract week days so i have another function called weekdays so you'll be getting sunday monday tuesday or all those stuffs weekdays and done and then the last is day okay so you'll be getting first to 31st days okay i have a function called day right so friends uh, if you doing any mistake here uh, click sense will give in a lot that you have a mistake so it will throw you a, an error expression here okay so you can just notice this one to identify there's a error or not so i don't have any error so that means it is showing okay so it's a day filled for all right so i have got year quarter month and then weekdays and day fine so uh you can see all this type of data which is year 1 to 30 and you have a months like jan to december you have quarters the quarter names like you know jan to march april to may and june Uh, July to September, so these are basically the ranges of the quarters, okay, and then weekdays. So it is first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter of year 2010. So like this, four quarter of the year 2011 and 12. So I have basically three years in my database, like 2010, 11, and 12. All right, friends. So we got all these fields in my dimensional list, okay. So I'm going to delete this one. Now I will also add a measure. Okay, so the measure I will add it here is add new. In the measures you can use expressions, right? So what expression I would use? I would use the popular most expression which is sum. Okay, sum of the field I would use in the transaction table. sum of cogs which is a sales okay and aggregation is sum you don't have to write basically you can simply select choose the table choose the field and use the aggregation function and insert so the formula will be automatically written so you can just give the name of this uh, uh, expression as sales okay great that's it so likewise i will also create something here we have choose this transaction table i have uh, revenue and i'll use sum of revenue that's it very easily i can create a function so i'm going very smaller initially so it will be sum of revenue so i don't have to always use the functions so as i've created a measure simply i can drag and drop and create a kpi all right so we have created few or uh, dimensions and few measures okay now i will create a first 
bar chart a very simple bar chart I will create by using this dimension okay so let's see and as I am here to show multi-dimensional analysis so I will create a KPI a key performance indicator which will show you sum of cells by multiple dimensions so you'll be having multi-dimensional analysis okay so I will use multiple dimensions like year, quarter, month, all those stuff. So, so by all these dimensions, you'll be seeing the data in various angles. Okay. Now I'm going to create a KPI here. So the KPI would be a bar chart, very simple and my favorite. So I'm going to add a dimension here. And in the dimensions, you're able to see all these fields. Those are added to the dimensions. Apart from this, all these fields are there in the database fields. So however, if you are adding something to dimensions, you can have custom names and you can have a custom formulas, custom, uh, you know, uh, methods you can use there. So to create a fine tune dimensions. So I'm going to add, first of all, I'm going to add year. Okay. One click you have to do. I just had a double click. So that's why it is added twice. All right. And then I will add measures. So the measures which you have added to the list, you can see this is sum of sales and sum of revenues. So let's add revenue here. Very easily I could create a KPI. So it's showing uh, year wise revenue. All right. Now it is a simple bar chart. We cannot say this as a multi dimensional analysis. Okay. Now let's create a multi dimensional analysis here. Before that, uh, let me give the KPI name. Uh, revenue by time. Okay, very simple. Uh, so time can be anything: year, quarter, month, and then, uh, days. Anything. So this is showing the revenue by uh, uh, years. Now I'll have to create multi-dimensional analysis. So friends, I'll have to add other dimensions also. So here I have added uh, dimension is a year and then I will have to add multiple uh, dimension here. Add alternative dimension. You can choose this one. So you can see other dimensions as well. So you after the year you will be getting quarters. And the next dimension I can add months. The next dimension I can add weekdays and then the next is day okay so how many dimensions i have added here year quarter month weekdays and days that's it now this simple chart will function like you know it will function differently in different selection of the dimensions so you have multiple dimensions here now that it's time to uh, have some you know changes in the appearance I can change the color, say color of the chart which is showing by year, I mean in a single color I will just change it to color by dimension. So you will be having multiple colors also. Alright. Okay. So let's save it and my multi-dimensional chart is ready. So uh, here in the appearance, in the present, in the appearance tab, you have a presentation soft tab. Okay, in this presentation soft tab, you have these value labels. So you can switch on the value labels to see the values which is appearing on the bar sheet. Okay, on top of the bar, you can also be able to see values to make your analysis easy. Okay, now my multi-dimensional bar chart is ready. So it is also can be called as a cyclic group okay now you see here i have a first bar chart with multiple dimensions ready first i am showing uh, revenue by years now here you can also see quarters so the same chart is performing differently you can be able to see revenues by different quarters okay so there are uh, different years also here in the legends 
so you can see by colors if you want to see the years so you'll be seeing here the quarters which is not sorted properly i can sort it so it is showing 2012's four quarters 2010's four quarters and then 2011 four quarters 2012 four quarters okay now again i can switch to month so now you are going to see the different months different months uh, with this color and then weekdays so you can see overall it's showing overall in 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 overall in three years normally in tuesday you we have got a highest revenue in saturday we have got the second highest revenue uh, and then sunday is the bottom most so this is yeah this one tuesday is the mm -hmm. thursday is the bottom most okay so this is how the multidimensional analysis happens so if you select the days you will be able to see 30 days here you have 30 days so overall 30 days data you are able to see so same chart is performing differently by the selection of different dimensions which is very cool to see and to analyze here so this is what we call as a multi-dimensional analysis and the, the process I have used is a cyclic group the same process is called in click view as cyclic group so we can also call this as a group or cyclic group here in uh, click sense ok so this is first process to create a multi-dimensional analysis with a cyclic group so thank you friends if you like this video please like and subscribe to see uh, much more uh, upcoming videos which i am uploading every day and every week thanks for watching bye bye